Good morning, everybody. Well, I just woken up, so <laughs> I've had a concussion. I was physically sort of twice. Uh, my lower back is in a lot of pain. My fingers, my arm, both knees, electric shocks at both feet, and when I put on clothes, when I sit down to go to the loo, can't even lift up my foot for like an inch or, and it really, really hurts. And so this video is gonna be short and sweet. If you are watching, welcome to Inspirational Living with Rose. Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Let me know where you are watching this from. Um, Cause I've just woken up, it is, evening here in Aberystwyth. I just want to show you the beautiful scenery. Okay. That's the memorial. And then you've got the sea. That's the sun over there. Hope you enjoyed that. My neck, neck is very painful. Um, I keep going to slip, racking up, keep slipping back up, long time, long time silly. Part of a part concussion, called hard bang on the floor. So bad, man. Put of face, that's because of Moderna booster vaccine done that to me. My memory wipes out every night when I sleep. And so every day is a brand new day. And the only way that I can know how to get anywhere, because literally it's like a new town. Don't recognise anything, don't recognise friends, don't recognise anything. And I rely on Pokemon Go, because it tells you where the poke stops are, so it tells you where to go. It's quite useful really, so if you ever do suffer from memory loss, play Pokemon Go. <laughs> it will just tell you where things are, so you don't get lost. That was a really cool motorbike. bike. I'm a biker, back in the day. Back in the day. <sighs> Miss those days. Once a bike, always a bike, eh? Those are bikers will understand that. So uh, keep this short and sweet, and um, let me just show you the beautiful sunset. Well, it's not a sunset, really. It's not setted yet, so it's not a sunset, because it hasn't set. So I've got autism, so I'll tell you it's literally. So it's the sun reflecting on the sea, giving it a beautiful shimmering effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that. So bear with me please thank you I want to show you something have you looked in the mirror and said I'm beautiful have you taken that one step out of your house well done if you looked in the mirror and said I'm beautiful well done keep going do that every day build up your own self-esteem only you can do that no one else only you so I want you to have a look at something. And it's really cool that I can show you this because the tide's out, okay? Oops. I've got to get a bit closer and you'll see what I mean, all right? I love this. I actually did a professional shoot here, a collaboration, and I said, I want to go right in the middle and as soon as the wave hits, take that photo. And she was so nervous. The photographer was so nervous, I was like, this is what I want to do. So we did it and it was brilliant. But let me show you. That is a seagull. Let me show you this. All right, ready? Oh, by the way, that's the castle. Really awesome. 
And that's my church, St Michael's. Absolutely awesome. So, let me show you something. In life, you know, it's difficult, isn't it? I wonder... Wait a minute. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> yeah, you can. Right, so, ah, right. So you see them steps? I'm leaning on a on the thing. I don't know what it's called. Look at those steps. It looks. Dangerous, difficult, arduous, long and hard to get up those steps to reach to the top. But I'm not asking you to reach to the top. I'm asking you for something else. I've got to be careful. Can you see that closer? I'm asking you to take one step. One step is what I'm asking you to do. Please, please, please take that one step. Don't look at the whole staircase. Please, please take that first step. I need you to take that first step. Whether it's a first step to put your foot out the door of a porch because you've been in all day, curtains closed and don't want to go out, scared of society, scared of being bullied, frightened. I used to be like that, shy and withdrawn for years. But now I live in a place with no curtains. <laughs> so I can't shut the curtains. I don't have any. So what I'm asking is, Whatever it is, whatever your dream is in life, yeah? Don't look at the full staircase. You know, if it's about going out, building up your self-esteem, say it from the mirror every single day, without fail, look in the mirror and say, I am beautiful. And then you can build on that each day. I am worthy. Each day, I'm treasured. Each day, I'm loved. Each day, if you're a Christian, I'm the daughter of the king, amen. Or, if you're a guy, I'm the son of the king, amen. What a privilege is that? Exactly. How amazing is that? Like, you are precious and loved in God's sight. He will restore the years the locusts have eaten. A bruised reed he will not break. Trust me. I've been through a lot. Hell of a lot in my long life. I'm 39. And just want to encourage you, please, just take that first step. Whatever it is, if, if it's a, an idea about, you know, some, you know, if you want to be a writer, start writing. If you want to um, be a dancer, start dancing. And the thing you've got to remember is, do not care about what anyone else thinks because it's your dream, it's your passion, it's your desire, and you should go for it, 100%. Give it your all. You see, when I started photography back in the day, I just used an iPhone, and now I've got 2,800 followers on my Twitter page, which is at RoseVoo84. And I had after I had my spinal social palsy, diagnosis given to me because if you look at my neck uh, don't know if you can see I've got a scar I was told in the day sorry my hair is wild <laughs> oh yeah it hurts to push it back so basically 
I thought my dream of being a successful photographer is gone. That's what I thought. And I was really upset. I'm gonna sit down on a bench, I'm tired. Now, oh, so I'm gonna sing a song and it's by Danny Gookie. Sorry about my hair, I really am, apologies. You just make me look better. There we are. And this song came into my mind. I'm gonna sing it for you. And it's called, Tell Your Heart To Beat Again by Danny Gookie. You shattered like you never been before. The life you knew in a thousand pieces on the floor was for short in times like these, and this world drives you to your knees. You think you're never gonna get back to the you that used to be. Tell your heart to beat again. Close your eyes and breathe it in. Let the shadows fall away. Step into the light of grace. Yesterday's a closing door. You don't live there anymore. Say goodbye to where you've been. And tell your heart to beat again. Let every heart break And every scar For your picture to remind you Who has carried you this far His love goes further Than you ever could Tell your heart to beat again Close your eyes and breathe it in Let the shadows fall away Step into the light of grace Yesterday's a closing door You don't live there anymore Say goodbye to where you've been and tell your heart to beat again. Thank you. That song was by Danny Gookie, Tell Your Heart to Beat Again. It's based on a true story where he was with a patient and he, the, the surgeon did everything he could for the patient. And the surgeon said, tell your heart to beat again done everything I can and her heart beat again so that song came into my mind after I was told I had spinal cystic palsy because a trainee did the operation wrong and I was told in the day of the operation I had lymphoma cancer when I woke up all he said was shrug your shoulders look at my shoulders chop that on but that really hurts the other. The weakness goes from the neck all the way down to my titty. I've got to live with it for the rest of my life. It is what it is. But you know what? i got a joy no one can steal. You know, yesterday's a blank. So I write everything down, take photos, do videos. When you are weak, God is your strength. When you are in darkness, he's your sunshine. He's the light. His word is the light that guides your way. Your word is a lamp to my feet and light to my path. Amen.
He will restore the years of locusts of Eden. A bruised reed he will not break. I rely on those verses a lot. Helps my faith. If you're not a Christian and you want to be a Christian, I'm just going to say we prayer. And it goes like this. Dear God, I acknowledge that I've said and behaved in a way that's not pleasing to you. Thank you so much for sending your one and only son Jesus to die on the cross so that I could be forgiven and set free. Please come into my life. Be the king of this heart. Always. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, please message me. And if you didn't or you're not ready for it, you will be one day. One day, you'll see that God is good. Now I've been through a lot, but God is good. I don't blame God, I blame humankind. Humankind have the free will to be nasty, to be nice, to be evil, to be horrible, to be abusive or not. To think, to stop and think about what words are gonna say before they say it, you know? I'm gonna go now, but next time, there's a song that I wanna sing for you. If you like my singing, please let me know. Positive comments only. I need to go now. I'm, I'm hurting. Look, look, pain. So, peace out. Stay happy, keep smiling, keep going. Any negative thoughts, rip the page out, turn the page. Never read a book backwards, only forwards. And the adventure has just begun. Today, from now on, this time on, this second on, you choose what you decide to be. No one else. You do not let anyone else get in the way of your dream, your desire, your passion in life. Don't let anyone or anything <laughs> get in your way. You've only got one life. Let the adventure begin. Peace out. And sorry about my hair. <laughs> I can't help it because when I try and move it, it hurts because of the injuries I've had. So I can't help it. I can't help my face. But it is what it is. A vaccine did it me. So I don't blame God at all. I love God with all my heart and soul. I worship in spirit and in truth. You should always worship God in spirit and truth. You know what? Church isn't always on a Sunday. Worshiping God isn't always on a Sunday. It's every single day, every moment of the day. You can worship God anywhere. You can say we prayer in your head. You don't have to, if you can't say the words, type it on your iPhone. If you can't type it on your iPhone, I would download text and text to speech. I use that a lot when I can't talk. You type and then you press play and it speaks so that that will help you. I am going to go. So um, please be kind in your words. I've got autism. I take things literally. This channel is specifically positive vibes only, baby. So no negativity. We've, we have enough negativity in this world. We don't need any more. So this channel is about positive vibes, building up your self-esteem, encouraging you, inspiring you to go for it. Whatever you want to do, just go for it. Don't let your disability, don't let um, your, your um, mental state of mind get in the way. You know, just go for it. Because you know what? You deserve it. You deserve your dream. You deserve your passion. You deserve it, so go for it. And um, don't let anyone or anything get in your way. Yeah? Pop down your passions in the comments. 
I'd be interested to know. I'd be interested to know if any of you are doing my mirror idea of building up your self-esteem. I'd be interested to, if any of you have taken a step out of your porch and got, gone back to bed, well done. Please give me some feedback because I'm very interested to know in your thoughts. And because I've got autism, because I don't see much feedback, I don't understand if I'm helping anyone or encouraging anyone or is anyone being inspired? If I, I can help one person, I'll be happy. So, gotta go. Peace out.